in Oho. Please be seated. Kamihi nui kia tato katoa. In the name of Otako Whakaihu Waka, University of Otago, I, Stephen Higgs Chancellor, warmly welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. The purpose of the ceremony is the conferment of degrees and the awarding of diplomas. E ka mana o te whanua nei, ko tene te mihi kia koutou. I welcome our Mayor of Dunedin, His Worship Jules Reddick, who is a proud graduate of our university. Studying at Otago was often a life-changing experience. New opportunities are opened up by a world-class education from our academic programs, and Otago's unique campus culture, with its strong sense of whānau, offers a lifelong education and friendships. Our students study together, play sport together, party together, and some even make mistakes and learn together. And it's this that makes the Otago experience unique. Graduation is a special opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our graduates in the presence of friends, whānau, and university staff. We appreciate you giving us the opportunity to celebrate with you all. I now call on Professor John Broughton to give a formal Māori speech of welcome. He atame nui o te o māku e ki ake, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. What is the most important thing in the world? I would say it is people, it is people, it is people. Ti hei mauri oro, maho, the better life. O tāko whakaihu waka, te maraikei waho, tēnā kōrua. To this House of Learning, the University of Otago, and the Forum of the University, greetings. Inga mate, e runga, e o tātou marae, haere koutou, haere koutou. Haere koutou. We acknowledge all those who have gone before. Ko Chancellor Judith Medicott, ko Dr. Harvey Brown, haere, 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 haere ki te mātua i te rangi. Nō reira, te hunga ora, tēnā koutou. Kei te tua hau ki te <coughs> mihi whakatau ki e koutou, mo o tākou whakaihu waka, ki te reo o ngā runanga o ngaitau o tēnei rohi, ko o tākou, ko huirapa, ko moiraki. I stand to greet you today on behalf of the University of Otago with the voice of the Ngaitahu people of this place, the people of Otako, Huirapa and Moiraki. Whakatau mai, whakatau mai, whakatau mai rā. Welcome to you all. It's kanohi o te Otako Whakaihu Waka, Chancellor. Tēnā koe. Ita Timuaki Tuurua Pro Chancellor. Tēnā koe. Ita Timuaki Vice Chancellor. Tēnā koe. Ita Rangatira o Otipoti, your worship, the Mayor. Tēnā koe. E ngā mema o te kaunehira, o Otāku Whakaihu Waka, tēnā koutou katoa. E te kai kōrero e tēne rā, Ms. Melissa Lama, tēnā koe, kā nui te mihi ki a koe. E ngā ahurangi pūmau, Emeritus Professors, tēnā koutou, ngā manukura deans, ngā ahurangi professors, ngā huamahi colleagues, tēnā koutou katoa. E ngā manuhiri, tua rangi, kua tau mai nei ki tēne hui whakapotai, hara mai, no mai. And to you, the many visitors and friends who have come for this graduation ceremony, welcome. E ngā iwi o ngā hauwe for whaas, to those from the four winds, nō te tai rukarau from the north, nō te tai rāwhatiri from the east, nō te tai haoru from the west, and nai, nō te tai tonga hoki from here in the south, hara mai, no mai, welcome. Ngā waka o te motu, ngā whānau, ngā hapu, ngā iwi katoa, tēnā koutou. E ngā tangata katoa nō te moana nui a kiwa, and to the people from across the Pacific, tā lofa lava, mā loilelei, nisam bula vanaka, kia ora na, i ora na, aloha. E ngā whakatipu rangahau o Paitahe ka nui ngā mihi mō koutou katoa, and to our new generation of graduates and diplomats, greetings. E ngā korawai whero, and to our PH graduates, tēnā hoki koutou. 
In a pata he katoa ko hua 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 mai nei i tine ra mo tini fihi tohu mataranga te ra nui mo koto me to fano hoki. So greetings you gathered here today for this graduation, a special day for you and for all your families. Through your own hard work and achievements, you have created new opportunities, horizons, and choices as you proceed from here to engage in your chosen career paths, vocations, and professions. And for many friends and families who are gathered here today. You have sent your young people to us as students, whose lives are forever enriched by this truly great, this wonderful and unique experience that is forever Otago. Yes. And so today we proudly present them back to you as graduates and diplomats of Tefaru <coughs> of uh, Otago Faka Ihu Waka. <laughs> The University of Otago. No reira, inga mana, inga reo rauranga tira maa, tēnā kaita, tēnā kaita, kia ora tātou katoa. Kia ora. Thank you, Professor Broughton. The first verse of the New Zealand National Anthem will now be sung, first in Te Reo Māori and then in English. The words are printed inside the back cover of your graduation booklet. Please stand. Please be seated. <coughs> By the authority of, of the University of Otago, I, Stephen James Higgs, Chancellor, will now confer degrees and award diplomas of the university upon those declared qualified to receive them by the Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellors and Deans concerned, and on those listed in the program but not present. The Vice-Chancellor. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Shirley Gabriella Atyang. <clears throat> Yelena Dibrova. Kirsten Mary Gibson. <clears throat> Mohammed Rakibul Hassan Khan. <clears throat> Jacopi Ramala Mayona.
Megan Kiri Portiki. Lorraine Rarity Steele. <laughs> Ian Nicola Viscara Tobia. Heather Megan Tribe. <laughs> Dmitry Zavyalov. From now on, graduates will be crossing the stage mainly in groups of three. Please delay your applause until after the last name of each group has been announced. Thank you. The Pro Vice Chancellor, Division of Humanities. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Arts by Thesis and the degree of Master of Music, Scott Mitchell Bezet. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Arts by Thesis, Rebecca Waikwini Benham, Hamish William Duncan, and Jody Riach Jarvis. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Arts by Coursework. Hannah Mariana Mercado King and Donna Melanie Roy. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours and the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Callum John Hancock. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Tamika Georgia Ashbrook and Andrew Angus McIlvinney. <laughs> Alexandra Grace McKenzie and Maioha Apiranga Whenua Watson. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Arts and for the award of the Diploma in Language, George Stanley Lethbridge. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Adam Bin Eisel, Willow Francisca Ashby and Evelyn Rose Ballantyne. Madeline Georgia Rose Barnett, 
Shane Yvonne Barton and Charlie Rowley Beck. <laughs> Mia Alexandria Beck, Leila Ala Alden Ahmed Beckett, and Mona Ala Alden Ahmed Beckett. <laughs> Weston Kian Bell. Olivia Grace Belt, and Valme Betty Billsborough. <laughs> Shan Eleanor Bowes, Indy Johanna Boss, and Cara Margaret Bradding. <laughs> Emma Lavender Bradley, Patrice Jean Brookland, and Renee Alia Brookland. <laughs> Jonah Pakua Michael Broughton, Michael Russell Brown, and Amy Jane Bruce. <laughs> Warada Buatong, Joshua Scott Camplin and Willa Helena Carpenter. <laughs> Tamamanea Cassily, Finian Ladbrook Cataway, and Connor Adam Chetwind. <laughs> Emily Laura Cochran. Emily Kate Ogilvy Coyle and Jackson James Dick. <laughs> Olivia Claire Elizabeth Dillon, Jordan Vince Dixon Grant, and Warwick John Duncan. <laughs> Kayla Duplessy. Alex Bryce Henry Dykes, and Victoria Claire Edwards. <laughs> Hugo Fan, Hamish Luke Ficken, and Paris Georgia Flynn. <laughs> Yesenia Cedar Vaituru Fox, Madeline Laurie Fuller, and Ava Allison Gilbert. <laughs> Zach Thomas Gimblet, Margaret Jane Gorman, and Nicholas Patrick Guilford. Elspeth Isabel Hallett, Lorna Amelia Hallett, and Isaac John Power Hamilton. <laughs> Summer Dawn Isla Henderwood, Matthew Jeremy Hodge, and Rebecca Mary Hodson. Lucy Kathleen Rose Holloway, Elizabeth Rose Horner, and Sabi Shri Louise Jackson. <laughs> Elena Marie Johnston, Oliver Reg Kenning, and Emily Alice Arohanui Kerr Bell. Patria Alicia Kirk-Simon, Lily Jane Knowles, and Aaron Moana Kyle. Charlotte May Lanchbury, Tallulah Sunny Isabella Lennon, and Timothy Christopher Lino. Caroline Helen Lassar, 
Hunter Kenneth Michael Lett and Michael Riwa Love. Victoria Elizabeth Lowe, Keely Dawn Lunn, and Ivan Joseph Luntnant. <laughs> Alexandra MacArthur Lynch, Oliver Fergus McFarlane, and Elise Rebecca Marich. Lexi Rose Mawson, Daria Josephine Maxson, and Samuel Arthur McCashin. <laughs> Sydney Alexis McCaw, Svetlana Katia Russell McGregor, and Annie Zell McLaren. Kushla May Ann Melville, Ben Andrew Millich, and Alana K. Mitchell. <laughs> Ella Jane Mitchison, Riley Kate Moiser, and Rocky Perez Fulasa Mamoisia. Tight. Helena Renee Newport, Ali Kate Nicholson, and Charles Franciszek J.M. Novak. <laughs> Samantha Jeannie Oliver, Sophie May Palmer, and Bethan Lorna Parker. Frankie Lola May Pastoroff, Kaya Juno Pola, and Mia Alexandra Porteous. <laughs> Mason May Portiki Grayling, Anna <laughs> Annalise Sharon Prinzen Gerligs, <laughs> and, <laughs> and Juliana Olivia Quinn. Holly Erica Reed, Lucy, Lucy Gemma Roche, and James George Ross. Isaac Michael Savage, Soren Amadea Scott, and Luca Marco Seardon. Ella Francis Grogan Simmons, Rosa Maria Spear, and Madison Rose Stewart. <laughs> Emma Maria Sutherland, Isabella Sophia Sophie Sutherland, and Maxine Linda Taylor. <laughs> Emma Louise Truman, Tyron Hamawira Tutaki, and Isabella Rose van der Sloot. Ruby Rose Walton, 
Acacia Fern Weekly, and Forrest Wilson. <clears throat> Benjamin William Young, and Alexander Peter Zangurupoulos. <clears throat> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Fine Arts, Daniel Frank Allen and Lisa Jane Allen. <clears throat> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of International Development and Planning, Rowan Zhao. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Peace and Conflict Studies, Jessica Alice Clark and Jemima Julie Megan. <laughs> Noel Howard O'Malley and, and Kendra Lippett Robinson. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Planning, Caroline Rose Check. <clears throat> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Music, Joshua St. Clair Botting, Eric Mateus Decker and Rory John Hum. Marie Gita Kapawa Sam and, and Samuel Bruce Mullen Leeper. Vasai Makani and Toby Greg Roseman. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Social Work with honours, a leader, Caitlin Gilder. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Social Work, Grace Taylor Jane Young. <clears throat> and Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Social and Community Work Applied, Georgia Rose Hawthorne, Stacey Joy Penrose and Rachel Elizabeth Ruth Shields. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Theology, Hilary Gay Willett. <clears throat> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Theology, Matthew Kenneth Little and Scott James Reeve. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Chaplaincy, Amos Mazondua. <clears throat> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Faith-Based Leadership and Management, 
Danal Joy Diprose, and Nathan Trevor Hughes. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Master of Ministry, Brendan Russell McRae. The Dean, College of Education. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Teaching and Learning and the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Dania Christina Kerr, Delaray Myberg. Rutine Raukawa Victor Rickard, Zi Kwan Wong. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of, Master of Teaching and Learning and the degree of Bachelor of Science, Emily Jane Mayhead, Ray Shell Louise Stokes, Jackson Ronald David Youngman. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Master of Teaching and Learning, Jonathan Warner Allen, Maria Louise Angus, Madison Edens Barker. <clears throat> Ali Ikehata Bukholt, Thomas Charles Cairncross, Kate Louise Cordwell. Olivia Mary Campbell, Andrea Louise Clark, Christopher Grant Cook. <laughs> Gunanta Dudpati, Amanda Rose Fivash, Grace Elizabeth Flanagan. <laughs> Haley Francis Flett, Joshua Dominic Garcia Hernandez, Callan Grace George. <laughs> Stephanie Grace Gillespie, Nathan Sean Hanna, Bailey Elias Harding. <laughs> Annie Evelyn Haveron, Mackenzie Samantha Jakes, Julia Lilius Sylvia Johnston. <laughs> Emily Jessica Wake Kierkeer, Angela King, Annabelle Maria Lapworth. Brooke Elise Laurie, Anna Ruby Lydiot, Fergus Donald McKinnon. <laughs> Kate Louise McManus, Sonia Louise Manson, Storm Sophia Watkins Maoli. Annabelle Margaret Agnes McCone, Lucinda Jane McConnon, Emily Annette McKenzie. <laughs> Love Day Jane Mossman Catchpole, Nadia Wendy Mullen, Zoe Ann Murphy.
Bridie Veronica Brady Ockwell, Arlo James Priest Forsyth, Eleanor Jean Ross. Ashley Louise Sargent, Rebecca Jane Sawyer, Jia Shen. <clears throat> ben Jared Cinnamon, Anna Harriet Slee, Hannah Claire Smith. Meg Christina Somerville, <whistles> Danica Leme Soper, <whistles> Nina Maria Stadler Reed, <whistles> Erica Claire Steadman, Emma Kate Hay Steed, Ashley Louise Taylor. Alicia Marie Elizabeth Thompson. Jokopeta Margaret Tobik. Tana Brooke Trotter. Rusei Wakushima. Tabitha Jane, Tabitha Jane Trusel Watt. Caleb James Seth Whelan. Jin Chong Young, Jeffrey Robert Young. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Teaching and for the award of the Diploma for Graduates, Joe Anthony Sean Holloway. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation in the degree of Bachelor of Teaching, Amy Jane Beer, Claudia Lily Pearl Bugo, Maya Rose Davis. <laughs> Abigail Evans, Fena Jane Goldfinch. Georgia Catherine Fergie Kimpton and, and Scarlett Patricia Grace Smith. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Laws and the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Matt John Gillespie and Maisie Hope Guy. <laughs> Caitlin Grace Hansey and Thomas Joseph Peter Connell Kilroy. Pro Vice Chancellor, Division of Science. <coughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation and the degree of Bachelor of Science, Gabriel Evans and Travis James Turner. <clears throat> Chancellor, 
Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation and the degree of Master of Applied Science, Finlay Charles Blackmore Rees. Pro Vice Chancellor, Division of Humanities. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for graduation the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Science, Jemima Catherine Dow, Julia Stephanie Feehan, and Leah Marama Forster. Toby Nelson Henry, Alice May Hodges, and Lucia Delarosa Huiaro King Smith. Ben Kong, Ashling Mary Lawson, and Livy Estelle McLaughlin. <laughs> Ashley Rosemary McMillan, Hugo Thomas Fitz, and Ava Madeline Blackmore Reese. Jamila Anna Hira Reynolds Hatem, Toiroa Tirangi Haka Haka Fanga Davies. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the award of the Postgraduate Diploma in Theology, Zoe Danger J. <laughs> Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the award of the Diploma, sorry, the Postgraduate Diploma in Chaplaincy, Chantal Rose Harper. Chancellor, I have the honour to present for the award of the Diploma for Graduates, Mark Norman Henderwood, Tessa Elizabeth Lovelock, and Mark Ambando Onginjo. I'm delighted now to introduce today's musical performance. Baritone Scott Bazette holds undergraduate degrees in classics, maths, and music from the University of Otago, and graduated today, not very long ago, with a Master of Music, Classical Voice, and a Master of Arts, Classics, both awarded with distinction. He's long been an active performer on the operatic, musical theatre, concert, and recital stage in Dunedin. He's a regular performer with regional and national music groups across New Zealand, including New Zealand Opera and the New Zealand Opera School. 
Accompanying Scott today is pianist Terence Dennis, Blair Professor of Music at the University of Otago, who's long been acclaimed as one of New Zealand's finest musicians. He's particularly noted for his extensive partnership with soprano Dame Kitty Takanawa, with whom he's given around 50 recitals across the world, including two royal recitals. His recent CD, Distant Beloved, with tenor Simon O'Neill, was recently released internationally and won the New Zealand, New Zealand Music Awards Classical. Today they perform Vainement Ma Bien Amie by Lalo and You Are My Heart's Delight by Leha. It's with great pleasure that I invite Scott and Terence to perform. Sie 
Thank you very much for that wonderful performance. I'm now very privileged and delighted to welcome today's graduation speaker, an Otago alumna and former Student Association president, whose unwavering passion to serve her community is inspiring to say the least. 2022 OUSA president Melissa Lama is a young leader to watch, and should she decide to run for any top national leadership position, she would acquit herself very well indeed. Melissa, a proud Pacific daughter, hails from Christchurch, where she was raised alongside her siblings by their beloved mother, who is here today. She is herself now a devoted mother of two boys. In 2017, Melissa demonstrated her leadership potential by participating in the Pacific Youth Parliament, where despite her initial doubts, she excelled and was named the best debater. Subsequently, she was invited to serve as a trustee of the Pacific Youth Leadership and Transformation Trust, where she facilitates similar opportunities for other Pacific youth. During her time at the University of Otago, she advocated for Pacific students and was elected president of the Pacific Island Students Association in 2021. This role expanded into a broader advocacy for student rights and needs during the pandemic, culminating in her election as the first Tongan OUSA student president in 2022. In that capacity, Melissa was also a member of the University Council, and I can personally say that it was a pleasure to work with her. Melissa also actively served as a member of the Royal Commission of Inquiry into the Christchurch mosque attacks and led a campaign against routine arming of the police, garnering significant public support. With over a decade of experience in the NGO and public sector, 
Melissa currently holds the position of Partnerships Lead for the Ministry for Pacific Peoples. Melissa has embarked on a doctorate in business administration at Otago Business School, focusing on labour mobility and the impact of seasonal workers on the Pacific region. This research reflects Melissa's commitment to advancing the interests of her community both academically and practically. Nō reira, Melissa. Ko temihi ki a koe. Please join me in welcoming Melissa Lama to speak to us today. Thank you, Chancellor. Jeez, that was the whole speech. Fataf ke otoa, maf mafi, taoloto lotonga. Fataf ke pule ako, o university o otako, fagaiku, fagaihu waka. Kaitehe ke kau fai ako. Fataf ke ngai tamai, mungai fae, kotoa pe, oktao ihe aho, mahuinga nigoni. Pato ene fataf makehe, ke kakae fonuani, Mana Finua, a Kayata Mauke Faki Lea, Ke Fafofonga Glotta Honga Ia, Ye Aho graduation of the Tao Fanawako. Tena Koto Katoa, Malolele, Nisambula Vinaka, Talo Falava, Kiorana, Iorana, Modi, and warm bus figure greetings. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do quite a bit of public speaking, but today especially I feel very nervous. Um, and so if everyone could just take a deep breath with me. <sighs> we'll be good, we'll be good. Uh, in my preparations, I asked uh, my two board of directors, my two boys, ages 12 and 9, I said, give me some tips. Mum needs some tips. She wants to get up there and she doesn't want to be boring. And they both turned around and said, you know what, Mum, it's not about what you say. It's because when you tell your story, you tend to cry and your nose gets real snotty. Um, so just to set the toad, if that does happen, just close your eyes. I'll give it a wipe and we'll carry on. To our graduates, thank you so much for embarking on this awesome journey. Um, I'm really not here to tell you what to do. You know, go and do all these things like I did. Honestly, don't. <laughs> Um, if anything, I'm here to just say how much, how excited I am to know that we're going to have future, you know, young leaders and people like yourself who came to the VIS University, in my opinion. I love it that much. I'm doing my third degree. Um, and, you know, you're going to be out there in the workforce, and I just look forward to the innovative ideas, you know, and you just bring your authentic self into the space. And to your family members, can't forget you lot. Um, to your family, friends, villages, and communities. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Um, it goes to show that you're, uh, you being here today and no doubt whatever journey you went alongside with your loved one here who's graduating does not go unnoticed. And um, it definitely sets a precedence for the kind of support that it takes to ensure that we get more of us graduating at university. And so thank you very much. Um, look, coming to University of Otago was, was never a dream of mine. I um, didn't do very well in high school, despite being a, on a sports scholarship at a private school in Christchurch. I, I left year 13 with just only NCA level one. Um, but all good, I was good at sport, right? So uh, that's got to count with something. And so the thought of coming to uni was so far reach from even being a part of my plans. Um, but I don't think it was because of, you know, the work that I do in the community, the really meaningful work that I love uh, that inspired me to come and do a degree here in 2018. I honestly believe it was my lived experience of, of growing up with my beautiful mother, um, who was a single mum. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, and the role that I play in a Tongan family. Like many of you, we walk multiple worlds. For me, these, these two notable worlds. One, the Western world, society, culture, and influences. And the other, the expectations of my Tongan culture and the role that I play as an only daughter in our family. And so, you know, as the only daughter in a Tongan family, um, my role was, from the age of like five, I'm pretty sure, was the family translator. 
Now, if you come from a migrant home, you, if you know, you know. Um, and so my role at the age of five was to go along with mum to all her appointments uh, for the purpose of bridging language ba barrier gaps. And so I would go along to doctor's appointments, um, you know, if we were to turn up to any government or public service agencies. And my job was to try and find uh, English words that would translate and show enough weight to Tongan words so that she understood what was going on. And to some of you, you're probably like, that's trauma. And it was trauma. <laughs> but look at us now. <laughs> um, it was a little bit traumatic. I'm not going to lie as I reflect. Um, but that was our situation. That was my current situation. And as much as um, I don't want to make it look like my mum was a bad parent, not at all. Uh, if I didn't do those things, I don't think we would have been able to, to navigate some of the Western systems that we currently live in or we did in before. It's actually still the same now. Um, but if there's anything I want to encourage to our graduates is to... Uh, my bio sounded pretty cool, but it's definitely, definitely not a flex. There's nothing more I can encourage but to make sure that you look after yourselves. Uh, you know, it's great that you've gotten to this point now, um, but it's even better because you're kind of on your own, unless you stay here and do some more study, good on you. But if you are sitting, stepping out into that, you know, big world, please make sure you look after yourself. If that looks like building a support system, creating a messenger chat with all your friends where you don't want anybody to read that chat. If it's about, uh, you know, start doing the things that you loved before now that you might have a bit more time, but definitely be kind to yourself and make sure you, you know, you set yourself up well before you uh, go out there and make the difference that you hope to make. Um, that's one thing I reflect on my journey is that, you know, it's all good that you want to do all these good things and they do bring impact, but at the same time, there's something that has to give. And so for me, the big give was, uh, I would be very tired and burnt out. I would find myself crying a lot, um, and the people that I loved had to suffer a lot. And so I, I definitely have no regrets. I don't live with regrets. I take them as lessons, and I make sure that I share those lessons with others so you don't learn the hard way. Um, I actually had a big speech here that I wanted to talk about, but um, once you're in this moment and you get to see everybody, uh, the emotions of, of knowing what journey, um, what that journey feels like, I kind of just wanted to give you guys some hypes and uh, just tell you not to be scared. And I have these five cool little, not little actually, but five tips here that I think um, might help you along, along the way. Um, if they don't help you, just please stay awake to the end. We're nearly, we're nearly finished. First one is, you are never too young or inexperienced to create change. I can't tell you how many people told me that um, I needed to go and, and do a bit more before I could try and make change, or, you know, you haven't actually finished studying. Um, you don't actually have to wait to be an expert or have all the skills all you need is legit, a willpower and the right intentions to listen and lead through passion. Second, shoot your shot. Don't be afraid of rejection. Apply for organization initiatives that you see yourself in. And a big one is networking. Networking always helps. And I know for a lot of people, it's a, it's a hard thing to go out there and have to meet others. For me, obviously you can tell, I love to chat. And so I find that quite easy. Um, but that's where you call upon your extrovert friends to help you out in these spaces, you know. Uh, come along with you, start some good chat. That's how you sort of try and navigate those spaces when it comes to networking. Or tell people like myself to shut up, you know, and let you have a turn to speak. Thirdly, there's not one type of leader that you need to be. Um, you know, you will often feel like you're not cut out to be a leader. And if you don't want to be a leader, that's all good. You know, leader, the word leader is so fluid. You know, you can lead at home with the dishes and the vacuum, or you can go out and lead in your local sports club, or you could lead in your own personal life. And so don't ever feel pressured to be a certain type of leader. Um, and I have to say, it's often the soft, silent ones behind the scenes who really make the difference. So if you don't feel at all that you're, because you're not a loud person, that you're not making a difference, 
you actually are. And for people like myself who are loud um, and who seem to get all the glory because you're loud, um, you know, we are grateful <laughs> for those of you who create space for others. And um, yeah, I really want to get that one across. Fourth one, play to your strengths and use your talents. Um, a big thing to remember is working towards transformational and societal change can be in any space and field you pursue. I don't think you have to be uh, in community space or in the public sector space to be able to make change. Um, I think it can happen everywhere and any small amount of action with good intention is good. This tissue needs to go in the bin. But um, last one, which is a big one in my Tongan culture, which is maintain relationships. We call that Tauhiva. I've found the most impactful work come from strong and organic relationships. Um, it's the bringing people together aspect that brings about powerful outcomes. And part of those organic relationships is also working along, alongside people who don't align with your values. I think. Um, the hardest thing I've learned in this in the space of advocacy, in the space of working with young people, um, and the different ideas and energies that everybody brings is that you're obviously going to come across people who don't agree with what you do or what you say. And I think it's, a, it's, it's something that we shouldn't shy away from. If there is any way that you can sit in Talanoa, have a korero, try to come to some sort of space of understanding, um, I think there's too much cruelty happening around the world, happening around the world uh, to, to not find a way for us to be able to have discussions. And so this takes a lot of growth for me because I used to be quite, you know, really ruthless about that. And I would straight out cut out any ideas that were different to mine. I would find ways to argue back um, without really doing what I encourage people to do, which is listen. I don't necessarily have to agree, but I think it's important to build a foundation where you can have those important and courageous discuss discussions. And you're gonna be uncomfortable and sometimes courageously uncomfortable in those situations. But I do ask you to lean into them. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, as time is ticking, and uh, <laughs> I really know that it's important for you to go back and celebrate with your loved ones, I just wanna, um, give a, a shout out to the University of Otago, um, and especially a lot of people on the stage. I know we've all had a different experience at the uni, uh, but for mine, it was definitely life-changing, and it might be a privileged thing to say because I'm now graduated with two degrees, um, but just the end, I came to the University of Otago with two kids under five. Worst mental health they could be, and um, it sounds a bit, well, why'd you do all those things? But when the, um, the work and the purpose is bigger than yourself, as I said, it can come very easy to, to be sidetracked when it's about looking after you. And so when I came to the Targa University, um, there were a lot of times where I felt like I wasn't sure if I wanted to even wake up the next day. And so it was my safe space to be and times where I wouldn't turn up to class, the one lecture that Hardy would talk to me, there's actually one on the stage now, and I, I don't want to name him, um, would be the one to email me and say, Melissa, um, where have you been? You know, you need to come to class. Um, and, you know, it was like little, little actions like that that made me realise that there were people out there who cared. And so on behalf of my family and uh, my kids, um, thank you for helping me be a better version of myself. I think I can now lead uh, with more knowledge and appreciation for, for what I have. And so with the new branding and the work that has been done with Mana Whenua, thank you. I, I encourage you to be to be brave going forward, and it's going to be tough, uh, but we see the representation that it brings for the future. And so I've, it's not about me today, but I just wanted to make this, uh, this I guess, important message loud and clear. Um, but to the people who we're actually here for, oh, God, this is not. Um, <laughs> one second. <laughs> Gee. Uh, 
to the young, all of you are young actually, but to everybody who's graduating today. Um, go be great. Um, thank you so much for, for the amazing work that you will bring. And I hope in the future we will be able to network uh, and come across each other in any field that you are in. Uh, I wish everyone a safe travel home if you're leaving out of Dunedin. Uh, and much offer from, from me. Malavito. Thank you very much, Melissa, for speaking to us today. And on behalf of the university, thank you for your contribution and your commitment to the university, and I think more importantly, the, the work you have done and continue to do in your community. I ask you to join me again in thanking Melissa for speaking to us today. <laughs> On behalf of the University Council, thank you again for celebrating with us today. To those who have traveled long distances and to those closer to home, haere tu atu, hoki tu mai safe travels and stay well. I'd also like to thank the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Helen Nicholson, and our academic and professional staff at all of the university's campuses throughout the country for their outstanding contribution to ensuring our students experience a top quality education. And thanks today to the members of staff who have ensured that the ceremony has run so smoothly. Please join me in expressing our appreciation to our staff. To you who have graduated or received diplomas, I offer the congratulations of the university on your new status, and I welcome you to its full and permanent membership. I charge you by the common bond that now unites us to cherish the good name and reputation of the university, and to strive for the advancement of knowledge and the extension of understanding. I trust that in your different vocations, your lives may be fruitful of good to yourselves and to those among whom you live. The academic, excuse me, the academic anthem, Gaudiamus, will now be sung. The words are printed inside the back cover of your graduation booklet. Please remain standing after the anthem as the academic procession retires. Kia ora tato. Amen.